Hey everybody, it's Mike AK, that resale guy. It's Monday morning and you know what that means? Time for a what sold video. Yeah, we had a good eBay sales weekend, 17 items, just under $700. So the dollar total wasn't exactly what I would like to get. But today what we're gonna do, we're gonna pack and ship every one of these orders in this video so you can see how I go through each of these items, how I ship it, and what it costs to send them out. So let's get going. So yeah, like I said, pretty good weekend of sales, 17 items, uh, about $700. Uh, all those sales were like Friday, Saturday. I only sold like two items on Sunday and actually Friday was the busiest day of all of them. So it kind of strange weekend, heavy on the front end, really slow the rest of the weekend. I thought I was gonna have a, a major big time weekend, but just turned out okay, 700 bucks. I'm never complaining about that. So like I said, we're gonna go over each of the orders uh, that I sold, uh, what box I used to ship it in, and then what it cost to ship that box out and I'll let you know uh, where that's going. I got a couple things kind of going all over the country and I think one international through global shipping program. But before I get into that, I wanna let you know that I did sign up for WhatNot, I got approved for WhatNot, and I think I'm gonna run my first live auction this week. So I'd love to see some of you come in there, check it out, and uh, even if you just stop in and say hi, even if you don't buy anything. I put a link down below today uh, to go over to WhatNot if you haven't signed up. I think if you use this link, you get a little referral bonus. I think they throw me a couple bucks too. I'm not sure how it all works. I'm new to this whole WhatNot thing. Gonna try it out. We're gonna do some sports cards on there on Thursday. I think that's the video. That's the day I'm gonna do it. Thursday, I think it's gonna be all football and baseball cards that day. So get over there, check it out. Appreciate it. Let me know down in the comments if you did go over there, sign up and follow me on WhatNot. I'm that reseller guy on there. It's all, all one word, that reseller guy. Go over there. I'd really appreciate it if you went over there and helped support me on that channel as well, or channel or site, whatever you want to call it. Anyway, we're going to get into sales here. I'm going to go down my list of orders here. I'll have to put my glasses on and off as I do this. I hope the lighting's not terrible. Actually, it looks pretty good right now, I think, with Deadpool right here watching things over my shoulder. All right, first up, we have an autograph index cards. I buy a lot of things like this at the local sports auction, and this was one. This is a Michelle Kwan autographed index card. It is personalized to Robert up there. Uh, stuff like this really isn't getting worth getting authenticated. It costs you, you know, anywhere between, well, it costs me, we'll just say around 10 bucks to get an item like this authenticated, and you're not really gonna get that money back plus anything extra. So you're better off just selling it I guarantee all these autographs I put in my listings that uh, I guarantee them authentic should they decide to pay and get it done, it will pass. So uh, this is pretty cheap. I think it's sold for $9.99 plus shipping. So this is something pretty simple. Uh, it can go out in a bubble mailer like this, but because I don't want it to bend, I want to put this in a rigid mail, which I got just off camera. I'm going to slide over here and still talk as I do this so you know that I'm not just being, oh, you can still see me right here. I'm going to use one of these. It's pretty much the same thing, just a rigid mailer. And I'm also going to tape it to a piece of cardboard just so that doesn't get, uh, you know, it doesn't get damaged. And that way I can tape over the end as well to make sure that it doesn't somehow slide out of the end while it's, while it's in shipping. I mean, I don't think I've ever had that happen, but it could. So I also have an invoice here. I do include an invoice with every one of my orders. I know a lot of people don't put it in there. It's just uh, something that I think you should do. If this package were to get damaged, uh, the name on it get torn off during shipping, something happens. It's never, again, something I don't think has ever happened to me in over a decade of doing this, but I just think you should put a invoice in there. And that way I can write thanks on the invoice and anything like that that I wanna do as well. So. We'll go ahead and do this. I'm not gonna go through the 100% entire process like this with each item, but I just kinda wanna show you on a couple things some of the little stuff I do. So we got it We got on a piece of paper, we got the invoice kinda wrapped around there, and it's gonna go into this rigid mailer. These rigid mailers are great. I think this one is, what is this one? This one's, it's, it's some measurement, I don't know. This one is uh, eight, I don't have my glasses, it's hard to read, eight by six. So this is an eight by six rigid mailer. Works really good for sports cards. Uh, anything that you don't really want to get bent that's will fit into there. So we'll go ahead and close that up. I got my scale right here. You can't see it. I'm going to guess this weighs about three ounces. That's about where it normally is. It's 2.2. So we'll go ahead and round up to three ounces. Find where it is on my screen. Be nice if I could like screen share this as I'm doing this, but that's a little too technical above my pay grade. So we'll go in here uh, again. This holds for ten dollars. It's not an amazing sale. I've got it in a bulk lot of different uh, signed index cards, so I probably have a dollar or two into the signature. I'm making a few bucks on it. Uh, what did I say it was? Eight by six by one. It's going to go first class. This is going to California, uh, so it's not going to be uh, expensive. Actually, pretty cheap. Three dollars and eighty-eight cents. 
So I'll go ahead and get my label printed off and then we'll get on to the next item. Now I do also have some do not bend stickers. These actually came free with some other things that uh, I got. So I do go ahead and use these. It says do not bend and thank you. Of course you want to thank your postal worker. And I just put this down on the bottom. I don't want to show the address, but put it on there as well. I don't think you need to. It's not uh, It's not like the post office sees that and goes, oh, I really can't bend that item. I better be really, really careful. I don't think it quite works that way with them. I think it just, uh, whatever happens, happens as it's going along its mailing journey. All right, what's next here? Uh, again, I'm not going to do, do this long other thing with each one of these items. A couple of them will be kind of duplicate because you see I got a couple helmets back there. I'll show you how I do one and the other one obviously will be exactly the same. Okay, next we got a little lot of basketball cards. This is 1987. 88 Fleer basketball cards. This is Michael Jordan's second year card. Michael Jordan is not in here though. This is the starter set. I think it's 107 of the 132 different cards. So you got the majority of the cards, just none of the big names. You don't have Michael Jordan. You don't have uh, Patrick Ewing and Karl Malone and Akeem Olajuwon and Dominique Wilkins, all those great guys. But it is a good starter set. I had it in my store for 60 bucks and I took an offer for 50. One thing that happens a lot with these cards is, I'm not sure if you can see it on the camera, the sides tend to yellow a little bit. So not quite as white as uh, they were when they were originally uh, made. But this is a nice little starter set for somebody. 50 bucks, and uh, this is gonna ship pretty easy. All right, I'm ready to go on this one. I use this box a lot for different uh, sports cards. This is a five by three by two box. I do have a link down below. They're not super cheap. I think. They've probably been going in the 60 to a dollar range each for these boxes uh, when I buy them. I buy them in bulk. I usually buy them at least like 100 at a time to get a better price. But lots like this, about 100 cards, fits perfectly into here. But what I do is I also take a couple. Uh, these are like thicker cards that aren't really worth anything. And I put a couple on the top, a couple on the bottom just to kind of protect it a little more. I got my invoice, of course, here. We're going to fold that up. It fits inside nicely. Put that in there, put the cards inside the box. Now you can see inside the box, I got a little bit of area on each of the sides that I need to pack up. I'll have to use a little bit of bubble wrap like this along the sides, but I'm gonna have to cut it up a little bit. So make sure that uh, I kind of get it in there so the cards aren't gonna move around much during shipping. So uh, do this real quick. I kind of just fold it over a few times, shove that down one end, and then I got another piece and I'm gonna shove that down the other end. Okay, you can see I've got it pretty good in there. Once I close this over, it's gonna be nice and snug in there. And uh, it's still gonna be, look at that, shaking it, no movement whatsoever. So that's perfect. We're gonna put one piece of tape around it to start to make sure that it stays closed while I'm doing all this. And I'm guessing my weight, I'm gonna say this one's about 10, eight, 10 ounces, somewhere in that range, 8.4. So we'll round that up to nine ounces. Scroll down to my listing here. This is a, again, a, it's a five by three by two box. This one's going to Connecticut. So it's going from Arizona all the way over to Connecticut. So that's a pretty long journey. That's pretty much gonna be about the most expensive zone to zone shipping. So it's $5.38. I did only charge $5 for shipping. $5.38 to ship that out. I'm gonna get uh, my shipping label and we'll move on to item number three. The next sale is one of these little card sets. This is a Bill's, Bill's? Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure Set. These were made by ProSet right after the movie came out. I think it's the last one of these sets I had, part of the big non-sport card set purchase that I had where I had all those Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles and a bunch of others. I'm just gonna basically repeat that process of that Fleer set or that Fleer lot. I'm gonna use this box, this is what it looks like uh, unfolded. So you just take it, fold it over, fold it over again and you got your nice little box. And I'm just gonna repeat that process of the last one. All right, the Bill and Ted set is all ready to go. Quick little factoid about the Bill and Ted's Excellent Adventure movie that was filmed, or at least a lot of it was filmed out here in Arizona. Uh, a couple points of note, there was a bowling scene. I think Napoleon was bowling. That was at a bowling alley where I used to bowl in a league at in Tempe. And the ice skating scene where they were out on an ice rink, I believe that might have been with Genghis Khan. Uh, that was filmed out of what was Metro Center at the time. They had an ice rink in there. And I used to play ice hockey for quite a long time on that ice rink. And I was actually in the mall uh, for one of my games. And I was walking around before the game. And they were filming like a scene where Joan of Arc was exercising. I saw a couple minutes and didn't had no clue what was going on. I didn't realize they were making a movie because I had to get down to my hockey game. But, you know, just in case you cared. 
Next up, we sold some baseball cards. Of course, we had to sell a couple of baseball cards this weekend too. You can see I'm trying to do a few of the easier things for me first off. So we got some Jeremy Pena rookie cards. Congratulations to any Astros fans. I don't know a single Astros fans. I know some Phillies fans, so sorry to you Phillies fans. Your team did not win. Jeremy Pena was MVP of the World Series. This is 15 of his Bowman uh, first cards. I believe these sold through offer. I think I had them at 40 bucks. And a day or so before that final game, I sent a 15% off offer and they took it. So $33.99 for 15 of these. I got these pretty cheap. I believe I paid uh, a little bit less than a dollar a piece on these Jeremy Pena cards. And I have a few more. Hopefully those will sell too here uh, before he's forgotten that he was World Series MVP and the Astros stopped spending money on their guys. But I got more Jeremy Pena's. $33.99 for these. Great sale. How am I going to ship these? Yeah, I'm just going to ship them in a bubble mailer, but I am going to take one little step first to protect these. You don't want to just show them into a bubble mailer. Some people do, uh, and corners can get dinged up and stuff like that. So I take a couple of these old card savers that I have. You can do it with pieces of cardboard, anything that gives a little protection. And I'm going to just make a little sandwich with these cards, with these couple card protectors. And I'm going to use a little tape on each of the four edges, make sure that it doesn't slide out of there. And what this does is it just kind of protects the cards. It keeps the corners from getting bent up as it's getting shipped off. Kind of do all four corners. And why I like using these card holders like this. So look, you can see, you got a lot of room between these corners here as this gets thrown around on its journey. Where are these going? These are actually going to Texas, so that makes sense. Uh, it'll have no problem. This is gonna be very light to ship out. It's gonna be about three ounces since it's going to Texas. Uh, I believe it's gonna cost me probably just under $4 weigh it. It's actually only two ounces. So I'll give you the exact price. So $4.12 to ship this from Arizona to Texas. First class mail, bubble mailer. It's gonna be pretty easy. And of course, just like with the other one, I gotta take one of my do not bend stickers, put it on there and just put it on the envelope as well. Does it do anything still? Still no. but. I still do it. I think it's the right thing to do. Make sure, at least it makes the buyer know that you're taking the extra step and trying to make sure that their cards get protected while they're, while they're headed over there. All right, what is up next? Uh, I think it's something pretty similar. Oh no, we got this back here. Look, I sold one of these. I finally sold another one of these garbage pail kids. These are just empty boxes. So this is series 12 empty box. If you know what that guy's name is, let me know. And I also included a few empty wrappers. I believe I put four wrappers and the empty box on there and it sold for $19.99 plus shipping. Uh, I think I paid $5-ish for each of the boxes and I got a ton of wrappers. I paid $5 per series. So we have about two dollars into those wrappers about seven dollars into this sold for 20 so it's not a huge profit item again but i bought i think 12 of those so it adds up for that whole purchase my box is over here i tried to get everything set up ahead of time all right so here's another one of these boxes got to get it folded up this one i have i think i have these listed down below it this is listed as a seven or ten by seven by three box and it's actually just slightly bigger i think the inside usable area is ten seven three and uh, look, you take the box, look, it fits in there almost beautifully. It works good for a lot of different baseball card boxes. Uh, it works for some books. So that's why I love these boxes. Again, they're not cheap. I think the price is right around that dollar range per box. So again, you're paying up, but box prices have been going up, up, up recently to get any of these things. So we'll get my invoice here. We'll write thanks on it like I always do. Let me get this kind of packaged up. Uh, I'm supposed to be showing you how I'm packaging it up. Okay. This one, again, is going to be pretty easy. Now, I want to make sure that this doesn't get smashed inside because this is empty. This can kind of get smashed in. So I'm actually going to put that upside down. And that way I can put a little bit of bubble wrap, which if the bubble wraps back here. I got a big roll back here. I got to go get a few pieces. Hold on. How much am I going to need? We're going to say about that much. I think that might be a little bit too much. Let's kind of rip that in half. And we're going to take this and we're going to wrap it. So it looks pretty good in there. Close this down. I don't think it's going to move around. I think with that bubble wrap, it's going to keep it in place. That's just the uh, wrappers inside the box. So pretty good. First thing I do is I put a piece of tape on the outside edge of this. All right, because the thing is pretty empty, uh, this is going to be a very light box. I'm guessing six. Yep, six ounces. And again, it's 10 by seven by three. And it's going to Kentucky, Arizona, K K bah, Kentucky, Arizona, two. Kentucky, just following that uh, route across the country there. 
$4.39, so nice cheap shipping on that one. Let me get my label printed. We'll keep moving on, next item. And just in case you were curious how one piece of tape wasn't all that I used, I did also wrap the box this way and I also wrapped it once that way, give it a little more for shipping. So uh, this one will get there nice and safe. All right, next item, what is it? I got my list of stack of invoices here we are doing. Oh, that was a, that's a big game. I'm gonna wait on that one. I'm gonna try to get all the boxes for all the big stuff prepped ahead of time. Let me see what I'm doing. That's another big item. I got like three or four pretty big items that I'll take a little more work to get shipped out. So I'm kind of kind of waiting on those. All right, flip screens and get the item here. This is going to be one of the, another one of these items that's pretty simple. So so this putter cover, these were uh, ones that I bought while I was on vacation up in, uh, I think Prescott. I think Prescott is where I got these. I bought seven or nine, I think it was nine different that day. I think I have two of them left. Each of them sold anywhere between $8 and $12. This was a cheaper one. Had three of these different spider covers. Those sold for $8 plus shipping. Again, they're gonna be pretty easy. I just need to get one of my little my little things from back here. I've got a slide sort of off camera, not quite. I just got some of these with my last eBay coupon. These little padded poly mailers. Ships in here nice, easy. Uh, this thing's not gonna get broken or damaged or anything like that during shipping. So of course I gotta include my invoice. I know you guys are gonna get me tired of saying I'm including my invoices. Mike is making the video too long. Don't say invoice every time. I won't say it every time. All right, let's see how much this weighs. Uh, we're gonna say five ounces, not probably three ounces. But once I put a little bit of tape, put the uh, shipping label on there, I'm just gonna round it up to four. It's not gonna really cost me too much more, maybe an extra couple pennies or something. I don't know where it's going. Bring it up on the screen, find out where it's going, get one of these. This is going to Washington. So it's going up to Seattle. Person was probably golfing, lost it in the rain up in Seattle. Uh, let's see, what did I say I'm gonna do? Four ounces. And I'm gonna put it in here and then I'm gonna fold this over here in a sec. So it's gonna be about 12 by six by about three. 12, six, three, put that in the dimensions. Four ounces, $3.98, nice and cheap. That's why I love shipping light items like that and it's easy to pack so uh, i'm going to go ahead and get it all folded up get it printed out and then i'll show you in a second so you have to watch every single second of every single step of each of these items this video is going to be a little longer so i think i think all of you that do hang in here for the whole thing because i'm going to make another little announcement at the end of the video so you're definitely going to want to hang on for that it's going to be contest time Shh. Don't. all right so like i said i'm going to fold this over i already got my little mailing uh shipping label on there Fold it over. Now, I don't like that it has these big open ends like this. So I tape over these ends. Do I need to? Yes. My brain says that I have to tape over those. Some of you are saying, Mike, it'll be perfectly fine. You don't need to tape that. I've shipped millions like that. And I've never had a problem. I don't care. I'm a little OCD like that. I'm Sometimes I put extra tape on there. I probably use more tape than I need to, but I feel better that that open flap isn't there. It can't get caught on anything and accidentally open during shipping. So this one is ready to go. Throw it over there in the pile. Next is gonna be another nice, quick, easy one. Uh, sold an autographed baseball card. Oh, Matt Cain, San Francisco Giants. He was a really good pitcher for a while. I think he kind of fell off at the end. Uh, this is an autograph card from 2006 Sweet Spot. What they did is they kind of had him sign what looks like a baseball and then they put that inside the card. It looks pretty cool. These were a lot more expensive back when they came out. This thing only sold for $14.99 plus shipping. It is going up to the Bay Area, San Jose. I believe San Jose is in the Bay Area. I know, I should know these things, but I don't. There's a couple of different things you can do with sports cards when you're sending out. First, I got it in this rigid top loader. This is a very thick card, so I have to have it in one of these thick top loaders. And then I'm also gonna put it into what's called a team bag. Now it works good for these card holders, you're not putting a whole team worth of cards in here. Uh, and this keeps the car from sliding out. Now you can put some tape over the end. I don't like using just regular tape like this. Some people will use painter's tape. That way it comes off the rigid card holder easily and uh, you can reuse it, it doesn't get sticky. Basically, I'm just gonna repeat exactly what I did with that Jeremy Pena rookie car lot. I'm gonna take the card, I'm gonna put it into the bubble mailer. It's gonna weigh about two ounces and I'm gonna ship it up to the Bay Area for like $3 and change. The Matt King cards all packed up, ready to go. I'm gonna throw that over here. I don't throw that back there in the pile. I don't throw those over my shoulder like the other ones. I keep those nice uh, right here on the desk. So next up, we got some baseballs. I got a couple stacks of baseballs. Where are they? Oop, you can't see. They're right here off camera. I got a bunch of stuff in the way, but let me get to the right box here. I'll keep talking as I do this. It's right here. All right, you've seen me sell some of these in the past. This is my last box of 12 uh, used 
baseballs from the minor league or complexes, major league complexes here, probably used by minor leaguers and major leaguers during spring training and other things. These are ones they use for batting practice. So they have quite a bit of wear on them, but they're still good quality baseballs. And the buyer actually sent me a message exactly what I sell these things for. He needs some good quality baseballs for his little league team that uh, aren't just the store-bought ones for Walmart and stuff. Those baseballs are garbage. These ones hold up much better, even though they've been through major league batting practice many times. Uh, sold these for $29.99 plus shipping. Uh, I paid a dollar per baseball on these and I ship them out in these flat rate A boxes. They fit a dozen baseballs perfectly. I mean, perfectly in there. So uh, I use this box. Sometimes it costs me a little bit more than I charge. I know I could put in exact shipping for the buyer. Don't worry about that. Uh, I charge $12, I think $12.99 for shipping. Because this one's going cross country, this is going to Florida. I think it's gonna cost me slightly more. Several of you are saying, Mike, just put exact shipping in there. It's easy, no big deal. I know. I understand the shipping all works out. At the end of the month, I'm always ahead on shipping with how things work out shipping wise. So if it costs me an extra little bit here, I'm gonna put in flat rate A box and can tell you exactly what it costs. $13.91. So it cost me an, an extra 92 cents to ship this out. I'm making good enough money on this to where I'm not worried about that 92 cents. Baseballs, done. Ugh, that one's kind of heavy. Can't really throw it too much. Next item, San Francisco 49ers mini helmet. Uh, San Francisco 49ers playing pretty good right now. Division's kind of up for grabs. Seattle beat Cardinals this week, so I think Seattle's still in first place. But if you're a Niners fan, you're still looking all right. Uh, the thing that's different with this one, it's a modern helmet, but it has like a metal face mask. So this is heavier than most of the other uh, little mini helmets. I'll show you this one real quick. You can see this one. This one's a lot lighter. It has this face mask that's lighter. This one has like this little... T-bar, I think is what they call this in the middle, uh, different style face mask, a little heavier. So it made it worth a little bit more. Bought this at the local estate sale a couple weeks ago where I bought, I think, nine or 10 different mini helmets. Paid $12 for this one. It sold for $39.99 plus shipping. So yeah, this one, $39.99. I can't even read that price without my glasses. It's getting so bad. $39.99 plus shipping. I was right. I shouldn't have put the glasses on. How am I going to ship it? Let me get the box. You guys know I love shipping football helmets and selling football helmets, even mini ones. I love it. So this box here, these work great for everything. Hats, mini helmets, some bobbleheads, some other things. Uh, this box, eight by six by six. This box is invaluable. Again, I buy these at least a hundred at a time. I could probably buy them more if I had room to store all the extra ones, but uh, eight by six by six box. It's, it's like your best friend. We're gonna need a lot of bubble wrap for this one because there's a lot of extra space in this box. So I'll grab a piece here and we will wrap the heck out of this helmet. All right, it's in there, nice, easy. Close that up. Now, it's right at that one pound level. This, like I said, this thing was a little heavier than some other mini helmets. Other mini helmets, I think, weigh about 12 ounces. Let's see what this one weighs. It was close, it was close to being a priority, but it was 14 ounces, perfect. So 14 ounces, eight by six by six. This is going to Illinois. So some 49ers fan in Illinois, $6.36. So even that it's under priority, if it's going far enough, you're still having to spend over $6 shipping these days uh, for mini helmets. And that helmet is done. Next one is going to be the exact same thing. This one here is an Oakland Raiders helmet, but it is a throwback logo. Now, normally th this part, that silver was all black as well. So it is a little bit older style helmet. Doesn't mean that the helmet itself is that much older. They make the throwback ones. They make all kind of retro and different uh, fancy color ones. This one's, I think for a little bit less, $29.99 plus shipping. So again, this was just like at that sale, I think I paid $12 for the other one. This one, I believe I paid $10 for because it had the plastic, just here, the, the plastic face mask, a little bit cheaper style. So another good profit item from that sale. Raiders helmet is all boxed up, same as that other one. This one is going to Virginia. So we got a Raiders fan back in Virginia that's going to be getting this, or maybe it's a Christmas gift, who knows. Either way, I'm sending this back to Virginia. It weighed 11 ounces, so a little bit cheaper than that other one because uh, it didn't have that metal face mask. $5.38 shipping on one. Done. All right, next item, what we got yet? Yeah, we have, oh, 
I'm sad to see these go. This is the last one of my vintage wooden ski balls. If you haven't been watching me for a long time, I bought a bunch of these. It's been a few years now uh, at a local church rummage sale. I bought, I believe it was nine or 11 of these. I don't remember the exact number of these wooden ski balls for 50 cents each. Uh, amazing. These things sell for, what did I sell this for? $50. I did give a 10% discount on some during uh, selling all these. I had a couple people buy two, $50 for one of these. Now, normally I ship these in a four by four by four box, which I'm actually out of right now. They work four by four by four boxes work great for baseballs, things like this, little uh, action figures that are you know smaller ones, stuff like that. So I'm gonna have to find a different box that's gonna work. Unfortunately, uh, I haven't found that yet. So I'm gonna take a little time out. We're gonna go find that box. I wish I had more four by four. I need to uh, order some of those, at least this week and get some of them ordered. Cause, cause yeah, it makes shipping these so much easier. This is what happens when you run out of boxes. You have to use boxes that are way bigger than what you really need. This is probably like the next smallest size box that I have. This is eight by six by four eBay box. I buy these again with the coupon every once in a while, but you can see this ball is way too big for the box. So since the ball is way too big, we're gonna have to fill it up with a bunch of bubble wrap and other stuff. So you end up using more in supplies and more in weight and everything else and ends up costing you more. So having those right boxes is very important. I try to stress that all the time, but even myself, I run out of those boxes from time to time. All right, even though this is a ski ball, I'm still gonna put it in like a little protective baggie here. And what these actually are, I actually found these at a thrift store. These are little sleeves made for little 45 records. I paid a dollar for that whole bag. So I have one cent into each of these little sleeves. They work great when I sell baseballs and pucks and other things to put them in there. It works great. I wish I could find more of those, but then we gotta fill this box with a bunch of void So I'm gonna put some paper and some paper and I think probably at least three pieces of paper. Yeah, that's the right amount. Got my little invoice here. Let me get it boxed up. All right, so this ended up weighing 13 ounces. It probably should have weighed around nine, 10 ounces. It would have been cheaper to ship. So 13 ounces, an eight by six by four box. And let me click on it. I don't know where it's going yet. I know, I know you're you're waiting to find out where it shipped to. Mike, where's that ski ball going? It's going to New Jersey. Somebody in Jersey really needs this ski ball. I don't know what they do with these. Do people collect old ski balls and old uh, amusement stuff? So maybe somebody has an actual ski ball machine and they want these vintage balls to go with it, not the newer plastic ones. I'm not sure. Either way, I still got $50 for this. Uh, shipping back there, $6.64. So it ended up costing me a little bit of extra. I probably charged $5 shipping uh, on that ski ball, which is about what it would have cost me if I had the right size box. So $6.68 going to New Jersey. That one's done, on to the next item. All right, we're back from that one. I went and took a little break. I had to run an errand, so I was going by the post office, so I took all those items. You can see they're not on the floor back there, so I dropped those off. Uh, we've already done 11 items. We got six left to go. I just stopped and grabbed me a nice uh, ice cold Diet Coke. Get me through the rest of the afternoon here. Uh, what's gonna be shipped next? We got some video games, some Wii video games. A big bundle here, Mike, why would you just ship these like this in this bundle? Well, a while back I went to an estate sale that had a fill a bag portion of their sale and there was a box that had a bunch of loose Wii games in there. So I just grabbed them all. I paid $20 for the whole bag. There was a bunch of stuff in there that I already sold and made some money off of. These were all pretty scratched up and not the greatest of titles. There was only a couple sports ones, but uh, even like this one, Super Mario Galaxy, I think cleaned up disc only might sell in that five to seven dollar range so i just bundled them all together there's 28 games and it sold for 40 bucks 39.99 plus shipping a lot easier than having to worry about finding a place to get them cleaned i don't have a disc cleaner uh, i'm sure there's some places around that do it probably i don't know two three four dollars a disc i don't know how much places charge if you get discs cleaned anywhere does gamestop do it does any of the other places put it down in the comments let me know but anyway, I got to get this shipped out. So how am I going to ship this? Uh, I don't want these to break during shipping, so I can't just put it in like a bubble mailer. So I am going to use another one of these boxes, the same one, this eight by six by four. It fits in here pretty good, but of course we got to use a little bit of bubble wrap, protect it during the shipping. It's only going to Colorado, so that's uh, that's good. Arizona, Colorado is pretty cheap shipping for me. Uh, it'll probably end up going priority mail due to the weight and the size and everything. But yeah, we'll just bundle this up in some bubble wrap, wrap it around there nice and good didn't quite fill the box so i'll put one piece of paper on top i keep it over here on the shelf i have to slide way over here and get really close to the paper put it on the top just keeps that from moving around too much let's see 
Yep, that's good. One pound, five ounces. And like I said, it is going up to Colorado, so it's not too expensive. We got eight by six by four box. It is gonna have to go priority mail. We can't ship it uh, first class because of the weight. USPS priority mail, $8.27. So great affordable price. I believe I charge them $10 for shipping. So this is like one of those uh, areas where it all works out just fine. Actually, I charge them $9 shipping. So we make uh, 70 cents in shipping on that one. But uh, yeah, $8.24 going to Colorado. Video games, $30 or $40 sale. Let's see, it's good. We can put it over there. Get to the next order. Next order is this sign. It's right back here. I already did a little bit of prep for this one. Let me get my piece of paper in here and ready to go. Now, I've had this sign for a little while. Uh, seats sterilized five cents. Paper inside. Uh, yeah, I guess these were used way back in the day in public restrooms. Now, this is a reproduction sign. This is, uh, got the label here. It's made by, I believe it's pronounced Andy Rooney. These signs actually sell really good. Some of the bigger signs can go for really, really good money. I didn't know if this would sell just because it's a weird subject matter. It's not like it's a car brand or a soda or anything like that that people want to collect and put on the wall. But maybe someone will throw this up in their bathroom. I've had it in my store for a long time. Uh, I'm going to say at least a year. I had it in there for 40 bucks. I think that's what the pop-up shows is 40 but I sold that through discount. Sold it for $33.99 plus shipping. I gave them 15% off. So a couple of things I'm going to do on this one. First, I'm even though it's a metal sign, it does have a little flex to it. If I were to just put it into this mailer, I've had things get bent before. So I'm going to add a little piece of reinforcement here. We have this uh, piece of cardboard that I pre-cut, got it all ready to go. We had a little bit of extra that was on the end, but I'll save this and I'll use this for something else later on. And I'm also going to use one of these little, this is a magazine bag, just like a comic board or a comic book bag. I'm going to put this inside here and do this to keep it from sliding around too much, keep it from uh, falling out of the bag. I don't want to put tape directly over that sign, so I'm going to tape the end of it. Definitely keep this thing from sliding out. Now it might move around a little side to side. I'm not too worried about that. I just don't want it to come out of the end and want to keep it from getting scratched up as well. So got it like this, perfect. Now, next step, I don't have a uh, rigid mail that's quite long enough, so look, it looks great until you flip it on and realize I can't fold the flap over. So I'm going to do a couple little things here. First, I have to get this. A couple more step process. This is a few extra steps in this one. I'm sure there could be a better way to ship it if you have a bigger rigid mailer. Uh, but we're going to use this big poly bag. And a couple of things I'm going to do with it. Uh, this will still bend, so I'm going to fold that over and make that a little bit better size. Get a little piece of tape, hold that down. All right, so now here's what we got. We're gonna put it in here, does it fit that way? Oh, this this might work out like just perfectly. Let's see. So look, slides in this way. Then we just fold the poly bag over a couple times. It's got the self adhesive strip on it on the end, which is really nice. Do this and look, that's not gonna bend. That's pretty sturdy. I do have these little holes at the end, which you know I gotta tape over those because otherwise my OCD won't let me ship that out without doing so. This, oh, this is close to a pound. Let's find out. Let's find out how much that weighs. I'm going to guess 15 ounces. 13, even better. So 13 ounces. We got to do the dimensions on this just for point of reference. It's going to New Hampshire. I'm shipping stuff way back east this time, but we are still going to measure it. Uh, it is 14 by 7 by 1. 1471 going back to New Hampshire. So uh, going back way east, $6.68. We've seen that total again. Uh, a couple times. Now this item had free shipping, so it was $33.99 free shipping on this item. It was originally $40 free shipping. Uh, I don't do free shipping a lot, but when I researched this one, I saw that $40 and a lot of people were offering free shipping. So I went ahead and did it on this item. It all works out the same in the end, but yeah, 40 bucks or $33.99 free shipping on that one. All right, let's get into the net. Uh, blah, blah, blah. Blah. <laughs> All right, let's get into this next sale here. I had one buyer buy two different lots for me. These are autographed baseballs. I buy a lot of collections, a lot of group lots, and a lot of times there's baseballs in there that aren't worth selling individually. They're ones that I can't identify or have sent out to other people to help out try to ID them. We can't figure it out. Uh, they're on junky, like not major league baseballs, what's called like official league baseballs. Those aren't well collected. So a lot of times I just bundle these up and try to sell them pretty cheaply. I usually put a dozen out there for 20 bucks. Yeah, 12 balls for 19.99. 
plus shipping. Now, I usually ship them in these flat rate A boxes, but I had one person buy two different lots and he's back in Rhode Island. So I'm shipping everything way back east today, or at least a lot of stuff. So I gotta find a better way to ship them than these flat rate A's. So I got two dozen. I think they might fit into this 10 by 10 by 10 box just perfectly. So like I said before, it's I love these boxes because these balls just fit in here just perfect. So there are some nice ones. People wanna resell these or just figure out what they were. Like this is a minor league baseball with some different minor leaguers signed on it. I have no idea who it was. This one's like Greg McMichael. It's on a nice ball, but he doesn't sell individually. Uh, this one signed on the side by this guy. I could not figure out that name. So I just threw all these into one lot and I do this all the time. Uh, I think I've sold four of these lots in the last month. Again, it's a great way to clear some of these out. And occasionally there's like, there's this ball is pretty cool. Look, so we got this ball it has like the Firebirds logo, Phoenix Giants, so uh, the old minor league teams, it's got some autographs on it cool ball but just again they just don't sell very well individually sometimes it's balls like this that have faded this is a rockies ball with some different players on there but yeah i'll just throw all these in here it looks like they're going to fit in here with a lot of extra room so i'll cut this box down but uh, let me kind of get this prepped and i'll show you what it looks like at the end because yeah we still got quite a bit of room in that box and uh, i'll cut it down and we'll figure it all out it is all ready to go worked out perfect so it was a 10 by 10 then i cut off two or three inches off the top we'll measure it just to be safe it's pretty heavy though this thing weighs over 10 pounds am i uh, nope eight pounds two ounces i put a seven pound guess on the screen so we got 10 by 10 by eight box like i said it is going back to rhode island so this is definitely going ups and let me check down it's going to be expensive $17.13. All right, I'm coming back in with the next one. I found the box that I needed for this. We haven't talked about it yet, but it is this right here. We have a Barbie. It's not a Barbie Jeep. It's a Barbie SUV. It's a Ford Escape. Originally, I bought this to sell my collectibles booth. When I put ones like this, any sort of Barbie Jeep, Barbie car, sells for about $12 pretty easy. I probably sold 10 of them this year in my booth. So I picked this one up, uh, but I check on eBay first to see if some of these are a little bit rarer and for some reason this Ford Escape show you the back of it there and what's interesting look we actually got like a little GPS pop-up screen right there it's got mirrors on the side that fold in and out uh, this sold for $29.99 plus shipping but it's going to Singapore I'm not shipping it to Singapore I sold the global shipping program so I got to ship it to Kentucky and they will ship it overseas now. Uh, I'm gonna use this box. This box is almost perfect for this. So let me, uh, height-wise, it's perfect. So it fits in here perfectly height-wise, but you can see there's some extra room on the side. This is a leftover Amazon box. Uh, people at my wife's work, people she works with, save all their boxes for me. So it's great, I get a ton of free packing stuff. So I'm just gonna load this thing up with as much of these packing pillows as I can and use their free shipping stuff. It's not gonna completely fill it. I'm gonna need to put a little more in there, but I can at least use all their free stuff. Oop, there's more pillows down here. I thought I was gonna, I didn't, look at look at all these. So yeah, we will just fill this thing up with as many pillows as I can get in there. It, it, oh my God, this thing moves a little bit. I gotta do a little extra packing in here, but this thing's just about ready to go to Kentucky. All right, got it all boxed up and ready to go now. This box weighed just over three pounds, three pounds, two ounces. If I checked it at three pounds and three pounds, two ounces, and it really didn't matter weight wise. So sometimes if it's that close, you can go inside, maybe take out an extra piece of packing paper, cut off a little bit of the cardboard, get it down to three pounds. But due to the size, this was more size weight. This was uh, like 18 by 19 by something. So because of the size, uh, I'm actually going FedEx with this. I ship very little FedEx these days, but it was a $4 difference. So for, for that amount, I will make an extra trip. The, the FedEx store is just down the street from me, so it's not a big deal. Uh, like I said, this is going to Kentucky, and then it's got to go over to Singapore, uh, but it cost me $17 to ship this one. Next up, we have a bat. Uh, I like picking these up. These are, or this is a Mark McGuire. This is a Mac Attack bat. It's a Vortex one. McGuire during the 99-2000 uh, season when they were, he and Sammy Sosa were chasing uh, the home run records. 
a lot of Mark McGuire stuff came out and make a couple cool ones. This one's not worth as much as another one. He has one that's like an air-filled pressure bat that's clear. That one sells for a lot more. But I love cool stuff like this. And most of the time, this area, this uh, uh, lettering is really worn off. So this one was in pretty good shape. Got some scratches on the other side. This part's foam, but this part is uh, plastic. So uh, pick this up. Usually I'm finding these. I'm finding for a dollar, two dollars, three dollars a piece. Uh, sold for $19.99 plus shipping. This one, being that it's so fat at the end, made it a little bit difficult to ship. So what I had is I have one of these triangular tubes from USPS. I already cut this down a little bit to fit to size. Uh, when these are full size, they charge a surcharge on these. So I wanted to get this as short as possible. So this bat fits just in there. Just a little bit of room on the end. I'm going to put a little bit of bubble wrap on the end. And then I saved the bottom flap that I cut off. And I'm going to put that on the end as well. So let me do some taping. Let me do some refiguring here. And we'll get this sized up and all figured out. There's what we did. Uh, ends up being 29 inches by 6 by 6. So we are going to get one of those surcharges on there. It's going to cost a little more than I want to ship it out. But uh, yeah, we'll get this sent out. It's going to South Carolina, so it's not crazy expensive. All right, last thing we're shipping out. Axis and Allies. I actually found three of these games within a like one, one and a half week period, a few months back. Had to combine a couple of them together to make two complete games. One of them already sold. Uh, this one here finally sold. This is from the Game Master series, either from like the 1990s. I can't remember exactly what this one was dated. It'll probably be in the pop-up on the screen, I believe. 1984? Wow, okay. Yeah, so this was the older one. Sold for $59.99 plus shipping. And if I believe correctly, I'm gonna click on my link. You can't see it on the screen, but uh, this one was in really, really good condition. Because of the bigger box, the boxes are always beat up a little bit. But this one's still not too bad. You can see I put some stretch wrap around the sides. I always have this thing a stretch wrap. That way I can kind of wrap things up. I'll do that for some items from my booth as well that I don't want people to get into or at least have to put a little more effort to get into. So this I had to put some paper inside to keep things from moving around. Then I put the stretch wrap and that way it's already on the shelf ready to go. So how am I going to ship this? This is a... I'll call it a behemoth of a video or a video game of a board game box. So I need to ship this uh, as lightly and uh, with the least amount of excess space as possible. So uh, one great way to do this, I don't know if I've ever showed this in a video before, but I make a, like a little game burrito is what I do. I usually do this in the other room because I have more room, but I want to show you how I do this because it's a great way to ship some of these games. So uh, here's what I do. I take the game like this put it inside the box. You can see I got about inch, inch and a half on each end. We'll score that side just a little bit and fold that over. Look how great that works. So we have another side over here. We're like right at the fold. So actually this one works perfectly. We'll fold up here and then we'll, you don't really even need to score it to do a fold over here. And then we'll cut off this last flap. So as I call it, I made a little board game burrito without any excess room. I'll have to uh, put some paper on each of the ends, cut a piece of cardboard. So it's a little more work, but I think uh, this is the right way to do it. Because this isn't going to cost me a fair amount. This is a large, heavy box. I believe it weighs over six pounds. I think I weighed it already. Six pounds, 13 ounces, or right in that range. So let me get this all boxed up, and we'll figure out the exact price because this one, this one's heavy. All right, here it is. Here's the final product. We got this box ready to go. Taped up on the ends pretty good. I think this is looking pretty darn sharp if I don't say so myself. Now, I did charge $16 for shipping on this. Uh, I probably spent 10 minutes getting this all boxed up and ready to go. It's going to Maine. So probably worst case scenario shipping wise is going to cost me $17.51. Again, I'm a little off on the shipping today. Terrible example of using my flat shipping rates that I put into eBay, but generally it works out pretty good the rest of the month. Uh, I think I'll, hopefully I'll, I'll have some better better luck. But uh, for a five pound, eight ounce, 25 by 13 by five box to get back to mean $17.51. So I'll get this finished up. And that is my last order. Now I need a sip of soda because again, my voice is shot today. I have filmed vi uh, this video for well over two hours cutting it down to whatever your final product is. So I'm going to guess by this point, very few people are watching a small select handful of diehards. So thanks to anybody that made it this far. And you are going to be the only ones that get to enter this month's giveaway contest. How much did Mike spend at Goodwill last month? 
The receipts are still here behind uh, the, the curtain, uh, uh, so I haven't totaled it all up yet. So put down in the comments down below how much did I spend at Goodwill last month, and uh, we'll do a giveaway. I'm sure I have another Starbucks card, or I think I'm going to give you an option of some Pokemon packs or some sports card packs. So you'll have Starbucks, sports cards, or Pokemon packs. So that's going to be the choices. Get your entry down below. Go to Whatnot. Check me out over there. I'm hoping to do that on Thursday, as long as my voice comes back, because it's sounding pretty bad right now. So again, this is going UPS ground, in case you're curious. Uh, that's it. Thanks, everybody, for holding in this long. If you are you haven't subscribed yet to this channel and you're still watching, it's kind of crazy, but hit that thumbs up button down below. Thank you all for watching. I'll see you next time.